I see all the smoke and everything going on out there. I saw this plane going really low. And then hear the fire engines and the police come. I was getting out of my car. I mean, could have landed on my head. That's where my office is located. Is there a fire over there? It was really loud. It was a loud boom. A plane comes crashing down into a Fort Myers daycare just minutes after it took off from Pagefield Airport. Two men were on board and just within the last hour we have learned the passenger died and the pilot was seriously injured. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Brittany Weiner and I'm Trent Kelly. NBC2 has a team of reporters gathering the latest information on this deadly crash. Reporter Jesse Pagan just finished speaking with NTSB investigators while Megan Bragg spoke with friends of the two men on board that plane. But our team coverage begins tonight with reporter Chris Lovingood. Chris just talked to some eyewitnesses who watched all of this unfold. He joins us live tonight from the crash site. Chris. Witnesses are shaken after today's harrowing event. And let me show you right behind me. That's the plane that crashed into that daycare today. Just a tragic scene here. One witness was feet away watching in horror as the crash happened. Went straight into the Chico's building. A terrifying sight. A low flying plane. It was horrible. Crashes into a Fort Myers daycare. It was really loud. It was a loud boom. We heard like a big, huge boom. Two people were inside the plane. One person died. The other sent to the hospital. That plane had just left Pagefield Airport. It traveled too close for comfort to Ashley DeRose. It was flying very low. I would say it was maybe only like 20, 25 feet above my car. She saw the crash happen right in front of her. The top of the actual plane hit the, the top of the building and it did like a flip, like a somersault, and then it hit the ground and set on fire. This is video of the aftermath. Investigators can be seen removing the plane's propellers from the crash site. DeRose says she called first responders immediately as passersby scrambled to get to the crash victims, but couldn't. Not far from the Chico building crash site is Cohen and Cohen Catering. A manager here says their building is not far from the flight path from Patriot Airport. I was scared I was, and I was grateful that it wasn't during the week because that's where all the kids go. Carmela McEachern finding it hard to focus on her work. Her mind is troubled by what could have been. We have people that work here with us that fly in all the time. Could have been them. Uh, we continue digging for answers as to how this crash happened. And even now, crime scene tape is still up as the investigation continues. Count NBC2 to update you with the latest as we know it. Live in Fort Myers, Chris Lovingood, NBC2.